Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. The next package that arrived is from Spirit Tea. And I always like to show the boxes because some of them have been really beautiful and unique. The most decorated box I've got is from the Tea Spot. Their boxes are beautiful. So this is how this arrived. I've only cut it open, haven't peeked or anything like that. Again, um, just kind of opening my packages with you guys. Let's see, I'm just looking at, that's just my invoice. I can trash that. There's the inside wrapped in brown paper. Ooh, we are going to be looking at this beauty and I'm gonna be explaining what that is. <gasps> Shut the front door, look what was inside. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give this to my daughter. I think it's a crane one, isn't it? Or is it a flower? I'm gonna have to show my daughter. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Dude, that is so neat. It almost looks like a lotus flower, but then it looks like a crane, like one of the birds, but I'm not sure. How freaking awesome is that? So freaking beautiful. That is hands down. Thank you, Spirit Tea. That is hands down the most unexpected and surprise thing I've ever found in a package to date. And trust me, I have opened hundreds, hundreds of packages on YouTube over the last eight years. So that is freaking awesome. My daughter loves everything like Japanese, Asian based. You know, we are Korean. My mom's from Korea, but she really, she really likes it. And I, this looks like it was folded. I really think it's a bird. Wait, 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 hold on. Does it do something? Hold on. Is it supposed to? Looks like it might. I don't know origami. I'm not that kind of Asian. That's still cool. I think it's a bird. I'm going to keep that. I'm actually going to gift this to my oldest. Oh, that's so, ugh, I don't know why. It's, it's handmade. You know what I mean? Somebody made that. Okay. So moving on, I have been getting into Eastern style tea brewing. What is that? That is the Gung Fu traditional controlled style brewing. Here in the U.S., we do Western style, which is we steep our tea one time for a long amount of time or a specific amount of time. Eastern is you do short steeps and you do multiple steeps and you get different flavors each time. So I've really been getting into that, tapping into my Asian heritage a little bit more. And upon Googling, I came across this device when I was shopping for some of my Eastern teaware that I have coming. And when I saw it, I thought, you know, um, these particular tea sessions are pretty much just me. Uh, my kids will come by and take a sip. So when I was picking out my... Eastern teaware, thanks to Mayleaf. If you if you guys want to get into it, I highly suggest the YouTube channel Mayleaf. He is so informational. But um, anyway, this is simplistic and small, portable, and good for one person. So this is the tea maker number one, and it is made by Manual. And from what I googled, it was on Kickstarter. And um, anyway, Spirit Tea now carries this on their website. Let's take a look. The box is really pretty. On the back, it says, Ancient Tool Made Modern. And it really is, and I love it. Um, it's our take on a traditional Chinese loose leaf tea brewing vessel. The small volume, six, six ounce, is ideal for making multiple short infusions. The double wall glass design keeps the steep temperature stable and the outside cold to the touch while the tea steep on display. And I really like that too because you can get glass gong fus, but I have just the basic white uh, porcelain one right now. And so I'm really going to enjoy that. No strainer needed. One finger simply pulls back the ceramic lid with the flick of the wrist. The tea is poured out of a small opening in the tea bowl. So I'm going to unpack it. Uh, pro tips, hand wash the brewer and lid dishwash cup. Keep the packaging. I'm going to wash it. Designed in Chicago, handmade in China, launched on Kickstarter. So it does say that right there manual is a design studio that creates products for celebrating food and drink to learn more you can go to their website i think i will check out what else they have i actually didn't know they um made anything else i'm kind of curious 
I love this. I, I think they say it perfect when they say it is um, an ancient tool made modern. So awesome. The packaging is really, really nice if you are going to receive this as a gift. Everything is packed very snug. Hold on. Am I doing this wrong? Let me take this part out first. This is the... Ooh. It actually has their name. So you can see it when you flip it around. Very thick. Um, as far as the double wall. I like that. And that's going to give a little bit more insulation. This is probably the thickest one that I have. I have one from David's Tea that's slightly thick. But this is very, very nicely designed. Now, here's the lid. Ooh. So, it is matte. It's a matte white. It's not glossy. I'm looking at what this little nick is there. Okay. And then this is going to be the cup. Ooh, that's a lot um, bigger than I thought, a lot heavier. It's got weight to it. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting more of like a thin porcelain guy wan cup. So this is nice. Very, very nice, actually. It's got the manual logo on the bottom that says made in China. The cup is pretty thick. I was not expecting that at all. And I always just like to double check. Yep, my boxes. Let's see what this manual says. Clear everything out. And I will show you guys how this works. I pretty much have read all this. I'm just going to flip through here if you guys wanted to see that. I got a new office chair or my desk chair. And I'm like, yeah, I feel like it's not broke in. Like I'm not sitting comfortably in it. So this is showing the difference what I was talking about between Western style and Gong Fu, which is um, just kind of showing all the things here and how Gong Fu is a little bit different. Multiple short steep with leaves, less water and time. Kind of rough guide to types of tea as defined by processing technique. Um, it's showing just the different uh, the different processes of tea which is actually interesting I like that and again just kind of flipping through you guys can pause if you want to read it this actually right here talks about um, first time users struggle how to grip a guy wand because it is hot. I've actually done that. And it says that one of the great things about this is that, that this will rarely, because it's double walled, it will rarely be too hot to handle. So it's, it's pretty easy to learn. I think, I think that that is awesome. And, um, they just, oh, it actually did a Kickstarter in August, 2016. So that's really, really awesome. And basically, I may or may not demonstrate, it just depends how much time that I have. Um, but I can tell you right now, um, out of all my teaware, I, I would say I have an extremely large, extensive collection of teaware. This is very, very nice. Very high quality. Like, I just banged it, and I'm not even worried. Like, there's nothing. So, basically, this is how it would stack. Like this. So very small, very compact, and I was very drawn, come on little bird, I was very drawn to that about the simplicity of it. And then basically what you would do is put in your leaf of choice, you let it brew, and then you, you know, you decant into your cup, and then you drink. And then after you wash it, it stores back up. The only thing that I wish they had for this is um, I wish they would have created a uh, travel case for it, like to take it to work or on the go or vacation or something like that. I think that that is the only thing that could have made this invention better would be 
um, like a little pack and go case. So if they're watching, I think you guys should totally do that because us tea heads out here, you know, um, we want to be able to take our beautiful tea wear with us as well. So I thought it was really interesting, especially um, it is hard in the U.S. to find a lot of Eastern style brewing tools. So I think that this is amazing that that this was made in the USA. And I wanted to share that with you guys in case you want to get into it. I think these are around $45 and it's definitely worth it. It's going to be a staple piece if you are going to be doing Eastern. Eastern Brewing. So that is all that I have. Again, if I demonstrate this, I will add that in the end. If I don't, um, just keep on watching. I've got lots of mail openings coming up. If you want to see this demonstrated or used in my own Gong Fu session, leave me a comment below and I'll do that and I will see everyone in the next upload. All right, guys. So here I've got some ancient Thai black tea in the tea maker and here i am waiting i have ordered a very basic gong fu table from overseas um so i've actually spent the day taking these wooden trivets and this i made like a drop half bowl <laughs> makeshift gong fu over here i've made a large one um and over here I just made some simple ones for right now. You know, I um, actually got these at Dollar General for $2. The bowls were $2. This is an old ceramic, I don't know, serving tray I had. And so, um, glued those together to make one. So, it works for now until, you know, I get a proper one. But um, anyway, so basically you just pour the lid back a little. You filter it down off into the cup like so and this does not get hot at all I do agree with what they said and it pours very very nicely and you still get to see the leaves it's really really awesome so just thought I'd show you guys a demonstration of how that works <laughs> 